Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of our Football Manager Road to Glory save here with York City. The save will be take York from the Vanarama Conference North all the way to the Premier League uh, and beyond. So last season was a spectacular uh, season for us. We won the FA Cup of course uh, at Wembley Stadium. We finished six uh, in the league quali qualifying us for the Europa League uh, this season. How have we got on with our summer transfers uh, window? Well, you have to have watched the episode uh, to find out. If you are new to the series, uh, please leave a like uh, down below. A subscribe would help me uh, get to my uh, 100 uh, subs goal uh, until FM20. Let's crack on uh, with the episode. So, without further ado, here are the summer transfers, the ins and outs. Reese Devine, unfortunately, uh, was demanding first team football. Um, in his, uh, he was complaining he wasn't getting enough football, so I um, took the opportunity and sold him uh, off to Newcastle. Really, really great servant, uh, Reese Devine. Had no problems with him. Uh, always gave his best when he when he played for us. But uh, nine and a half million, I think, was good value. Uh, for Reese there. Hawkins uh, has gone out on loan to Aberdeen. Mayong is a little bit of a disappointing one. Uh, again, he was complaining about game time. I thought I could get so much more uh, for him. Uh, but um, he, th this is the other problem. We've improved so much in the squad that the rest of the players, their potential ability, their current ability has gone way, way down. Uh, so I'm really, really trying hardest to raise it, uh, the, the level of the squad, uh, back up. It's been tricky. And I'm not going to lie, uh, it has been a really, really tough summer. You know when you have a huge transfer list uh, and you, uh, you've you been scouting for months and months and months and years and years and developed a massive transfer list? Well, of course, uh, you can't possibly uh, get all of them. You're keeping your eye out. That's the idea uh, on them. But it does get very frustrating uh, when you see the likes of Arsenal and Liverpool and um, Tottenham just shelling out 20, 30 million uh, for players you've been tracking for two or three seasons, hoping to pick up uh, for cheap. But uh, that's what I mean. It was a bit of a frustrating summer for that reason and uh, frustrating for other reasons as well. I'll explain why uh, shortly. But um, I'm pleased with the business uh, that we have done. Really, really pleased uh, indeed. Of course, we did pull the trigger. Uh, we got in well ready. The vast majority uh, of our transfer budget uh, has been spent on Will Ready. Let's have a quick look at him. What an outstanding, outstanding player uh, Will Ready is. He can play centre-back or right-back. No intentions uh, of playing him right-back. He's going to play alongside Miggins, uh, who signed a new contract, by the way, getting rid uh, of his release clause there, which I'm delighted with. Uh, Will Ready here, amazing physical uh, ability, amazing mental ability. Those technicals uh, will improve because he's got the potential uh, to improve them. Now, Tom Long here was uh, one of our freebie pickups. We usually do this. I usually scout out the uh, under 21s um, and under 18s uh, the, of the Premier League and then wait for them to get released uh, on free transfers. I must admit, I haven't been doing too, too much of that. Uh, in recent years, because our squad is just so much better now uh, than what they are. But uh, this kid, Tom Long, uh, looks decent enough. Um, I'd like a bit more pace uh, for a winger, but he's got all the rest uh, of the attributes. We'll probably send him out on loan uh, this season, but we will see uh, how it goes. I am a little bit um, perturbed about our strength on the wings. If West uh, or Lambert get injured, we've not got much... Uh, in the bank. So I am trying to rectify that. Uh, but like I say, I mean, my targets have been drifting away from me uh, all summer. So I'm not too, too, uh, you know, um, um, too, too, too confident that we can uh, we can do it uh, before the transfer window closes. However, uh, I was pleased to get Nicky Lockett uh, in. I think he's going to be a bit of a bargain, this kid. Uh, a right back. Um, Macy uh, has gone back to Spurs. We are trying to get him in uh, on loan, but in the meantime, we've got Madden uh, and we've got this kid. Ignore that. I don't think that's fair. I don't think that's a fair reflection uh, because, of, 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 as I say, uh, the rest of our squad now is so much better. Our star ratings uh, are so much better uh, than they were uh, before. I think, uh, yeah, it, it, it does affect these other players that are coming in. I'm quite pleased 
uh, with Nicky Lockett here. Uh, he's going to play right back, back up, right back for us. Good crossing, uh, good first touch, decent pace, very good physicals uh, to him and decent uh, enough mentals. Now, Pep here uh, has been on my shortlist for two seasons now. Um, and I am really, really, really excited uh, to get him in the van. I mean, what a player uh, this kid is going to be. I am tremendously uh, excited about him. I really, really am. Uh, I pulled the trigger uh, on what is quite a large transfer uh, fee for a kid. I pulled the trigger uh, on 16 and a half million because uh, Liverpool and Man United uh, both made bids which were rejected by um, by the club uh, that he was at. So I uh, I decided to move in uh, as quick as I could. Amazing player. He's probably uh, going to play back up to Mills. I might uh, retrain him as a deep laying playmaker. I think his stats actually reflect that position uh, a lot better. Uh, than that to be fair um, moving on from Pep very pleased to get Pep in Jason Stevens, another uh, one of my long term targets I think I showed you him a couple of seasons back uh, when we first got in uh, to the Prem, maybe uh, I overpaid for him, I don't think so though, uh, 14 million for uh, an England under 21 uh, international uh, player box to box, natural box to box player hallelujah natural box to box he is going to be our box to box uh, this season um rotating with boxel brilliant physicals um absolutely outstanding mentals i mean look at it uh, teamwork 20 uh, work rate uh, 16 anticipation um he's got the lot basically a uh, brilliant uh, technique uh, and passing uh, on the lad as well. He could do with a bit more uh, in the way of finishing and going forward, but uh, he's only uh, 18, so we can certainly certainly uh, improve that uh, for him. Tim Alabaster, again, one of my long-term contracts. He was upset uh, when uh, the club that he was at, let's just check where he was at. Uh, he was upset when Sheffield United got relegated. Uh, he requested a transfer, so I moved in. I think he's going to be fine, fine, fine uh, back up. Uh, at left back. Let's have a look uh, at Tim again. Yeah, very fine backup uh, at left back here. Amazing physicals, brilliant mentals, decent uh, enough uh, technicals as well. I am also delighted finally uh, to have upgraded uh, our keeper. I'm a little bit sick though. Um, I can't believe that I could have got this kid two years ago um, for 5.5 million. Everything was agreed. Uh, the transfer was about to go ahead. Uh, but um, the work permits uh, just got in the way. He hadn't quite at that stage uh, got enough caps uh, for Serbia uh, to get a work permit. So devastated about that. But we did eventually uh, get our man. Um, brilliant agility. Very, very agile. Concentration. Um, positioning. Vision. Teamwork. Work rate. Ah, the list goes on and on. Handling. Kicking. Area reach. Command of area. This is could be could well be uh, our forever uh, keeper. So we got our forever striker in Milicevic, our forever keeper uh, in Jordi Milovac, uh, and I think we got a couple of our central defenders uh, as well. So I'm very very pleased uh, with what we've done. Uh, we are pretty much spent out. We've got uh, space uh, for one more uh, loan signing. I'm really really hoping uh, that um, Spurs uh, decide to give us. Um, our right back that we want back. Let's have a quick look, see what the situation is uh, at right back. Um, ba, 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 ba. Yeah, right back. Yeah, let, have a look at the uh, the kid that I'm after, by the way. Or well, one of the kids that I'm after. Zakuani. Look at that. That is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. And I just can't afford him. He's requested uh, a transfer. I've only got four and a half million uh, in the bank. Ah, oh, but... I went in for him earlier in the summer and he just flat out refused me uh, to come uh, to even enter uh, talks there. So hopefully uh, Spurs will um, uh, allow us our right back on loan. There's uh, Teela Taylor uh, as well. I could go through uh, all of my shortlists. I'm not going to do that. There are so many good players though uh, that I am tracking um, for us. So uh, today we've got um, the Community Shield against Liverpool. Let's get to the match and see how this uh, this new look York side uh, does. 
just showing you guys what I mean. I mean, this summer has been constantly like that message after message saying that, you know, some of our, our B list or C list sort of targets have been uh, are being snaffled up. I mean, this is tempting. Wolves have made a 20.5 uh, million offer for Sean Crane and we do desperately need strength and depth uh, up front. I'd be tempted uh, to go in uh, for him, but we just don't uh, have the budgets. I don't think. Maybe if we if we did, maybe uh, maybe let's get this match over and done with, and uh, I'll take a look uh, at what we can do. I am very concerned about our strength uh, up front. Um, if we get an injury to our striker Milicevic, we are going to be bang uh, in trouble. But uh, let's uh, let's get to the match, get that done with, and then I can iron out the rest. Uh, of the transfer window uh, later on. So here we are then, everybody. Day of the game itself. It's one of our um, it's one of our targets on our our list, our to do list, if you like. Um, I would like to win uh, this cup. I know a lot of people don't care about the Community Shield. I don't. I almost never watch it uh, when it uh, when it comes round. But uh, it is. We do want to win everything uh, with this York side, and it'll be interesting to see uh, how we do get on. Uh, where's our kid? Where's the kid? Why is he not on the bench? Um, ba 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 ba. Uh, Stevens. I want Stevens uh, on the bench for Besic here. Uh, okay, so we're going in with Milicevic up top. I am relying on him so much uh, this season. It's not even true. He's got another mate uh, in the um, uh, in the Slovakia side who I went in for uh, in the summer for thirteen million. Again, that would have been a bargain. Uh, but he just, only just, I think, uh, failed his work uh, permit. So that one wasn't a goer. I was devastated about that, by the way. Uh, West over on the left, sign a new contract this uh, this summer. Brilliant news uh, for West there. Can't uh, can't picture us uh, moving him on anytime soon. Uh, Mills in advance, playmaker. Lambert on the right, Henderson and Boxall. Uh, we've got Stevens um, possibly to come in and take a look at him. Harwood, Miggins, Reddy and Madden uh, in as well. On the bench, uh, we're going to go with Gibb, uh, Milutinovic, uh, Wallace. Uh, I need bit, a big season from you, Wallace. Otherwise, I am uh, going to have to cash in uh, and upgrade uh, a striker there. Um, so, Wallace on the bench there. Toff, uh, again, he is wanted. I am considering... Uh, selling him, certainly. Tim Alabaster, uh, what a name that is. Uh, Jason Stevens and uh, Stanislav uh, Kovac uh, on the bench here. Let's get to the match uh, itself. So let's go to the dressing room and give the uh, give the team talk there. We'll put, I have faith in you, I have faith in you, and I have faith in you. Now, with these, uh, with these early season games, it's important, I think, that you get... Uh, the momentum to start with uh, and that you bed in uh, your team too so they get sort of understanding and links uh, with each other. Um, I'm interested to see how Milovac, uh, Georgie, uh, does in goal. Madden's already got uh, a bit of a knock there but he looks like he's going to be uh, okay. Uh, Henderson picks up from deep. I do love Henderson. He was so good for us last season, as was Miggins, Harwood. See, our core is really, really, really good. Like, outstandingly uh, good. There's Lambert scoring uh, a goal. It's disallowed. Yeah, disallowed, unfortunately. Well, that is a shame. Uh, we could have done with that. So, like I say, I mean, it is disappointing that these uh, these um, targets of mine are drifting away for sort of 20 or 30 million. But you've got to remember, you can't get them all. Alexander-Arnold with a free kick. It is a goal from a free kick. That uh, uh, is an own goal from Miggins. That had been a, a problem of ours uh, last few seasons. But I thought we'd iron that out last season. Um, it's come back uh, to bite us there. Uh, we are recording. Uh, yes, we are. Uh, new OBS setup, so it's uh, tricky sometimes. Mil Milovac. Ready. Miggins. Boxall. Henderson, West. So I think our core is tremendous. We're definitely, definitely in the in the top six. Uh, Lambert scoring there. Expect big things uh, from our front three this season. Lambert, West, uh, and Milicevic. I just hope uh, they don't get injuries because if they do, like I say, we could be 
uh, in big, big, big uh, troubles here. Yeah, so I, I am excited about the season to see what we can do. Uh, I mean, Europe is going to be a problem for us because uh, of the strength we have up front. Havertz with a shot. I mean, we should be all right. Uh, but like I say, it does depend on whether our players can keep fit, you know, for the whole season. It's going to be a long, old, tough season, uh, I think, this one. I would love um, to finish in the championship, uh, Champions League uh, spots this season. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it has been an interesting summer, uh, all told. It's been a little frustrating, um, but at the same time, I think I've done pretty well uh, with what we have done. I'm going to make some changes here in a minute in the sort of 59th, I think. Alexander-Arnold still playing for Liverpool, of course. We aren't that far. Uh, we aren't that deep uh, into the save. I think it's only 2027. Oh, dear. Henderson uh, sent off there. He doesn't normally do that. He's got a good disciplinary uh, record normally. So I'm going to do uh, Stevens for Mills. Uh, I'm going to do Stevens in box-to-box -box and Boxall uh, a deep-lying playmaker there. That is such a shame, that. I'm going to drop down uh, to balanced. And I'm going to shout demand more uh, at the lads. Robertson. Pierre. He's a good player, that Pierre. Very good. One of those wonder kids that you spot early on, but you know you're never going to get. Well, Liverpool, of course, picked him up. Milicevic. Lambert. Come on, Lambert. Oh, unlucky lad. Lafont plays it. Uh, out now. Hmm. This is going to be tricky. Do we go defensive? Do we sit back? I don't like doing it because it does uh, invite the pressure. I think I'm going to keep on balanced until sort of the last quarter of the game. Good closing. Virgil. Havertz. Lanes. The Mexican. Lainez. Sometimes good, sometimes bad, that kid. Uh, you, you don't really know what you're going to get, but he's worth scouting. He's worth having on your scout lists. Throw in, West. Milicevic almost scores there. So even with uh, down to 10 men, we've not looked bad at all. Lambert. Stevens. Oh, I thought he was going to score uh, on his debut there. So into the 72nd minute. Let's make a change here. I'd like to see Tim Alabaster. And um, maybe Milutinovic. No, we'll keep that as is. I'm going to drop down to Cautious, I think. What is the next one down, Cautious? I'm going to shout Demand more. Linares, Billingham. They've got Billingham. Oh, dear. Havartz uh, scores the first goal of the season. I think this could be that. That could be that. I don't think we're going to have enough that with 10 men uh, to push Liverpool. Let's get creative. Another free kick. Havertz. Have a look at what Georgie does here. Good save from Georgie. Yeah, I'm, I'm very excited about that lad. That goalie is our, could well be our forever uh, keeper. Um, uh, I put in an optional. I do like to do this with my loans, especially in the Prem. If you do get loans in the Prem. I don't like, by the way, the fact that you can only get two uh, loans in the Prem. That does annoy me. A lot. <laughs> but uh, Lambert. Lambert. Ah, closed down. Uh, but what was I saying? Yeah, you can only get two loans uh, in the Prem. But I do like to put optional future fees uh, in there. Because the money in the Prem is so ridiculous that you know you should be able to afford uh, the player if they are very, very good for you. Uh, on their loan spell. If they do become like a key player, then you can always just dip in uh, and pick them up um, in the transfer window. I mean, we've been brilliant, I think. Considering we're down to 10 men, that is not uh, a problem at all. Unfortunately, uh, we don't win the Community Shield. We don't uh, get to pick another one uh, off our list. There's uh, uh, the ticker tape, the celebrations. So it should, I think, be an interesting end to the season. I may need to sell uh, to the summer. Uh, I may need to sell in order to buy. Um, I do need backup um, in our um, uh, in our strike force. Let's just have a look uh, at our strength and depth here. Squad depth. 
I mean, I think we're very, very strong. Milicevic is just lights out so much better uh, than any other striker we have at the club. But I would like a bit more strength uh, back there. West, good. Toth may be on his way, so I would love uh, another left winger. Uh, Gwynchard, funnily enough, is uh, in there as the best uh, attacking midfielder. I don't think that's true uh, at all. Dale Mills there. So the, the, the squad depth is very, very good indeed. Um, but uh, let's uh, just see how we can do uh, as the, uh, the transfer window uh, closes. So looking at the schedule list here, it's a pretty tough start to the season. Brighton is winnable. Uh, Tottenham, Man United, West Ham, uh, Wolves, West Brom, um, Bristol City. So we'll come back to, I think, these two games here. Uh, depends. We'll see how it plays. But I think uh, I want to come back to you, show you some uh, fairly relatively winnable uh, games and uh, that way you can see the squad the team uh, at its best if you know what I mean so gonna come back to you probably around this time uh, but we will play it by ear uh, and see how it goes so I hope you've enjoyed that episode of the York City Road to Glory I've been Webby FM if you have enjoyed it please leave a like uh, down below subscribe uh, would really really help me out uh, as well have a lovely rest of your day everyone and thanks very much uh, for watching.